if you've got a kid who's interested in getting into the sport of kayaking or tagging along with you on the water, I've got the expert here today and we're going to talk about what makes a good kayak for kids. I'm here with Chris up at Hook, Line and Paddle in Wilmington and what we've got here is the kayak his daughter has been using for the last five years. She got into this when she was seven and he's going to talk through why he bought this particular kayak for his own daughter and you can learn the right lessons on how to buy for your own kid. And I'm going to get out of the picture because we got to be socially distant. All right, Steve. Well, I think I've talked to customers before and they said, oh, I got my one of my children a kayak. I found a little eight footer at a big box store or whatever. It was 150 bucks came with a paddle. Um, it'll work. Is it going to get him interested and passionate about the sport? Probably not. Um, the Prodigy Extra Small is what I chose from perception. Uh, I think new when I got it for it was four forty nine. I think now they're they're four sixty nine. Again, this boat's uh, getting to be five years old. Um, but there was a few reasons why I fell in love with this for her. Reason number one, she was seven. She was taking up too much space in a tandem, and I wanted to get back in my own boat. So I had to start looking for what I wanted to put her in. Plus, she was always asking me, when am I getting a kayak? I chose a Prodigy Extra Small for a few reasons. Um, one, it has a great bow entry. They, they, they hearken this boat a lot back to some of their touring kayaks they built. Um, they just shrank it down for kids. So what they did was they gave it a really nice sharp bow entry. That's going to cut through the water, not just some big kind of voluminous bow, kind of squishing it out of the way. They let the deck rise up to the cockpit. So if it's a little choppy, that water is going to shed away from the cockpit. I added a paddle holder that I can attach a leash to, to her paddle. So if she does drop it, it's attached to the kayak. When we get to a spot that we want to get out and walk around or explore, she has a place to put it so we don't lose it. Damn. The seat pan is very simple. It's, it's raised so they stay nice and dry. It's padded, has a nice backrest to it, which is adjustable in the back here. So you can bring it closer or back with these guys. And it's adjustable here with these straps to get it more in an upright position. Has thigh braces built into it. So it's nice and comfortable, nice and padded form. It has added flotation running through the bow to, to help keep them afloat. You know, my daughter started out at seven. She was probably around 40 something pounds. Now she's getting close to 90. Um, this boat uh, is recommended up to 150. So definitely in the young teenage years. Um, it's not just kind of a one and done, what do we do next summer kind of boat. It has some, has some longevity and legs to it. Um, with the added flotation in the front, it widens a little bit here in the cockpit, and that's going to give it great secondary stability. If it gets a little rough, we just want to stop and she wants to grab a drink of water or eat some crackers while we're paddling. She's not worried about it tipping over. It's a nice, stable platform. But again, very simple. No hatch in the back. It does have more foam back here. It's kind of small. It'll be hard to film. There's another chunk of foam back here and a little storage area behind the seat. She's done overnight camping with me, and she's been able to put all her her hammock and her, and, her, and her sleeping bag and all that and her little dry bag with clothes, being able to stuff it in. She's been able to take it on her own. Um, nice handle in the back for carrying, although the kayak only does weigh 25 pounds. I mean, at this point at 11, she carries her, her own boat. Um, when she was younger, she'd help me carry mine and I just throw this over my shoulder. But you got a carry handle in the back so they get the help. Does have a drain plug in the back. So any water does get in the end of the day, you can flip it over, tip it up, um, and have it run out of the drain plug. And again, same talking about that nice sharp stern entry. It has a nice, nice, nice exit for the stern too, the little extended keel to help it go straight. Um, this is really thought of uh, in some of their touring boat designs um, for perception. And they just, they just shrunk it down for kids. They just made a great quality kids boat to start them off in the sport 
And I'm, I've been all, I've been very happy with it. I was really picky. There's not a lot of options on the market. A lot of companies don't do it as well as Perception did. And I just didn't want to sacrifice and just get her something, have her not enjoy it and not get passionate about it like me. Um, if it's under 10 miles an hour and not really cold, this thing sees action just about every Sunday on her day off. Um, she loves getting out, paddling the river, paddling the intercoastal, going over to, going, going over to the barrier islands. Uh, sometimes we bring Finn the shop dog. I'll take him in my kayak because her cockpit's not big enough. And they will just chase each other up and down the beach until one of them falls asleep. It's usually the dog, not her. So Chris, what are other good models of kayaks beyond the perception that you should consider for a child? Um, if you go on the wilderness system side, they're Aspire. Um, which is 10.5. This is 10. The Aspire's 10.5. Um, that would be another good one. Um, Old Town Loon, they had a 10 footer. That's a nice stable boat, nice seat system. Um, the Joyride 10, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, decent small cockpit. And I always really stress like 12 foot kayaks, 12 foot kayaks, 12 foot kayaks for tracking and to make life easy but you got to think it's a kid so you got to downsize it just a little bit so a 12 foot a 10 footer to them is going to feel like a 12 footer to us you got to kind of put it in perspective um but i really wanted to make sure that she fell in love with the sport like i did i wanted to put her in the right thing in the safe thing um where she could learn gain experience and grow now her next kayak will probably be somewhere in the 12 to 13 foot in that same kind of rec touring style. Um, she enjoys fishing with me in my big native FX-15. Um, but if we just go out for a paddle to cover some water, she likes to be by herself. And so she kind of enjoys that, that touring style paddling that I, do all, that I like to do also. So I think that might be the next option. Maybe something in, in the, you know, from wilderness systems, that'd be in the Tsunami family. Um, the 12.5 might be right for, for her next boat. I think at this boat, she's 11. She's clocking in at just shy 90 pounds. I got through the end of the summer in this. Um, and then I'm just gonna look for the next mom or dad who has a kid, seven or eight, that, 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 that's getting interested in the sport and used. Uh, this boat's probably, 225, 250, 225, you keep it in good shape. Um, if you got multiple kids in your family, it can now become a hand-me-down. You know, you have to think about spending around $470, burn it out on a summer, and then figure out what to do next year. Um, this boat's got some legs, you'll get some years of use out of it. And again, it's either a hand-me-down to the next younger child who's ready to get into it, or gift to a friend, or get half your money back on Craigslist. Um, huge fan of the Prodigy Extra Small. Um, it's the one I tout when parents ask me, hey, my kid wants to start kayaking, what should I get? I always recommend the Extra Small. So there you go. If you've got a child you want to put in a kayak, there are some options. And if you have questions, I've got Chris's contact information down in the description. Comments? Throw them down below. Thanks.